On a day-to-day -day basis, it's quite challenging. We're required to take certain routes to, uh, to move these loads. Uh, our equipment is spec to uh, some of the heaviest specs that we can get. So when we get dispatched for a, uh, for a load, depending on what the load is, what the load weighs, depends on what piece of equipment we'll send out of the shop, out of the yard. Uh, so we can send a uh, 11 axle, 12 axle, 13 axle, or maybe our dual lane that's capable of uh, taking a 300,000 pound payload. So when we say we're gonna be somewhere to pick up at a certain time and deliver at a certain time, it gets taken care of. We were just impressed with the lack of downtime that Cummins was having with their product at the time when the new emissions laws were coming into effect. The competitor's engine, we had constant problems with downtime. We went to, uh, that's when we started using Cummins engines to, to decrease our downtime, to increase our uh, productivity on hauling the loads. Okay. Especially in the wind energy, it's, it's time, time sensitive. Um, we have to follow their schedules for delivery because there's cranes involved and they have so many components per day that need to be delivered to the site to stay on schedule. So we have to follow their schedules and in order to do that we have to make sure that we don't have any downtime on the trucks. Um, if we have downtime on the trucks then we could possibly fall behind schedule, which makes the site fall behind schedule, and there could possibly be charges to Steve Sharp Transportation for being late with loads. Well, we look at the ability for the trucks to be able to tow the extreme weights of the loads, um, so that's why we chose to go with the X15 performance series engines from Cummins. Um, they've been reliable. We've had a lot of, a lot of good um, support and feedback from Cummins uh, helping us spec the trucks. And we have had minimal downtime, which has helped us to get most of our loads delivered on time. Cummins came to us and asked us if we would be interested in testing one of their 2017 engines. At that point, we had a couple trucks that we had specced for a very heavy haul application on one of our dueling trailers, and that was the truck that they chose to put the engine in. That particular unit has an automatic transmission. Um, it also has an auxiliary, and it is geared in such to pull loads in excess of about 600,000 pounds. So they thought that it would be a good choice to put that engine in to see how it would hold up and the reliability under those extreme conditions. When you're first approached with something new, you, you never know what to expect, uh, how the engine's gonna perform, the reliability, um, but so far it has been very good. We've had no downtime with the engine. Um, the minor issues that we've had with some sensors have been addressed remotely without the truck ever having to go to the shop. I have noticed with the horsepower set at 605 that there is a little bit better pulling power um, in the lower RPM range. Um, it seems to um, not drop off as quick. I think the torque curve is a lot broader on it so that when we get into a really long grade, we're not having to downshift in the gears as much, and it's holding um, the torque at a lower RPM. Where we notice the difference is in the fuel mileage. I've noticed a difference in the fuel mileage uh, versus our previous ISX-15 engines. I mean, for the loads that we're hauling, we're getting about one more mile per gallon out of this truck. Our previous ISX engines, we did have some downtime with them. Um, there was some issues, um, some internal issues with engines that we were having, and this engine has had none, and it's been in some pretty extreme conditions.
Uh, on the engine brake on the new X15 Performance Series engine, uh, the engine brake is phenomenal. Uh, it works very well. Um, you have to use the service brake very minimal. And with some of the extreme loads that we haul, um, 600,000 pounds plus with a push-pull setup, we were able to descend down some 6% grades at that weight without ever using the service brake. Once we were into the proper gear on the automatic, the engine brakes worked together with both the pull truck and push truck to keep our road speed safe without ever having to touch the brakes. And I've actually found that going down a steep grade with that kind of weight, I'm actually switching from stage three to stage two because it slows the truck down so much. So you've kind of got to switch back and forth, otherwise you're almost coming to a stop.